Welcome, all right. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. H Cigar, okay? H Cigar has never been really known for like a real nice sort of uh, real well-made devices, at least in my experience with H Cigar. I've never really known them. I've never, I've never seen the company H Cigar has been like, yeah, I want to see what they're up to. I want to see what, what devices they're cranking out. H Cigar has always kind of been like a very sort of middle of the road, sort of uh, usable mods, but nothing ever really revolutionary or very cool looking. And today we got this Wild Wolf. 235 watt dual 18650 regulated device. It's got a nice big screen on it. The interface is a little bit wonky on it. And I'm honestly just not really, uh, not really super impressed with the H Cigar Wild Wolf. but it gives me plenty of power and it is actually pretty ergonomic. Um, what I wanna do real quick right now, I do wanna show you this interface just cause it is so weird. So what we're gonna do right now is go up close, uh, real quick up, what? Real quick short, what? I don't know why I say real quick short. I still say that. Real quick up close time, go. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. So yeah, that's a better look at the display. Not a bad looking display, but the interface, man, the interface is weird. It does things that don't don't make a whole lot of sense. You can five click the fire button, one, two, three, four, five. And you can lock the device, one, two, three, four, five. Totally unlock the device. And then you have this select button here and then your up down button. So when you're in wattage mode right here, you can just press the up down button right and adjust your wattage 0.1 watt increments which is fine it's whatever it's not my favorite over 100 watts it goes in one watt increments so if you vape over 100 watts boom you don't even have to worry about the 0.1 watt increment adjustments but then also what you can do is press this menu button it's going to highlight that watts right there you press it again and it's going to turn the watts yellow and then you can go through all the other modes temp control voltage back to wattage temp control voltage back to wattage okay so we're going to leave it on wattage right now because this is where things get weird so you press this and it's going to light up watts right then you press this and it's going to light up your wattage and then you can press it again and adjust your wattage this way if you want to adjust your wattage but like with extra steps, you don't need to do that. Remember, you can just adjust your wattage just with these buttons without having to select and then go down and then select again and then adjust your wattage. Real weird. And then lastly, on this wattage screen, you can press this to highlight the watch. You can navigate here and then you can navigate down here to soft and then you press this again and you can navigate between soft, hard, powerful. And then there's also a curve setting, which Dude, I never use curve settings. This is useless to me. We're gonna set this back to normal. And it does the same thing when you go to voltage mode. I like to run this in voltage mode, so we'll go past temperature and we'll go back to voltage and we'll push the fire button and lock it in at voltage, right? I love voltage mode. I love variable voltage mode. I love that that's a new trend on mods, but I don't like how this particular mod adjusts in voltage mode. It adjusts in increments that are far, far too small. It's not even 0.1, it's like, 0.11 when i press up once on this 0 1 volts 5.02 volts 5.03 volts so if you want to go from 5 volts to 5.5 volts you're doing i don't know 50 button presses here we go we're still going uh, 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 come on 7859 5.5 volts. And if I want to go to 6 volts, it's the same thing. You're going to be doing a lot of button pressing. Or you can hold it down and it'll fly by. And then, oh, we went past it. So let's go back down. It's just real weird, real wonky, real clunky when you're adjusting in voltage modes. And additionally, it does that weird thing here too, where you can press this, you can navigate to the volts, you can press this again, and then you can adjust your volts in a different way while it's highlighted, keeping in mind that you can always just adjust your volts without having to go through that process. It's just a real weird 
interface, real weird board. I feel like this was not thought out very well at all. You can't adjust the brightness on the display, so it might look a little bit washed out on here, but I assure you, in real life, it actually looks pretty nice. Shows you what mode you're in, shows you what your voltage is, shows you your resistance, shows you the wattage. Alternatively, when you're in wattage mode, it'll show you the voltage here, then it'll show you the amps that you're using. I'm not sure why they marked these A and B rather than up and down, or up and down rather, so... I don't know, that's, that's just a thing. And then along the side here are your battery level indicators. One last thing that's kind of wonky about this mod is this door. The door works fine. It secures down and holds your batteries down, but when it's up, it has the tendency to be real weird and wobbly and, and, and side to side. A lot of play in this particular door right now, and if it gets twisted a little bit, you can't, you won't be able to close it. It's just gonna fucking get stuck. It's just a, a real awkward, wobbly, really loose door. It's clearly marked positive and negative, positive and negative, so you know how your batteries go in. But you just have to make sure that this is straight and not wobbly, and it has travel room it's not only side to side, but like backward and forward as well, which is weird, and then you can boop. I've had really no issues with it other than one time this was like slightly crooked like this, and I threw my batteries in, and I went bang, and it like wouldn't shut. I just used all my force, and it wouldn't shut, and it's because that door was just sitting cockeyed on there. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry about this, but I'm editing this H Cigar Wild Wolf video and I realized that I did not point out my biggest gripe of the mod. And that is after an hour, which is, which is a long time, after an hour of not using it, it turns off completely and you have to five click it back on. I do realize that an hour is a long time, but really an hour is not that long of a time. This mod turning off every hour and then not, it doesn't just wake up. You can't just press the button and wake it up. You have to one, two, three, four, five, and then let it boot up and then you can vape it again. Really hoping that they fix that in a firmware update in the future, but as it stands, that sucks. That's a huge gripe and, and it's not in this video, so I'm throwing in right now okay now now back to the video i've just got that uh u-force uh vupu u-force tank on here not the first u-force tank but the second u-force tank it uses a uh, round wire in the coil heads which i actually kind of enjoy so a few things i like about the h cigar wild wolf I like the size of it, and I like how comfortable it is in the hands. It's this oval shape, it's really nice, super ergonomic, just fits real well in the hand. I'm usually a guy that likes to have the fire button right here at my finger, and the way that the fire button is placed right here, uh, it's not the finger, but it doesn't bother me. It's still really comfortable to hold. You just kind of hold it in your hand, and your thumb will kind of line up with that fire button right there, a very clicky fire button, I might add. I do also really like that this can accommodate a variety of different sizes of toppers. If you have a 30 millimeter atomizer, it will absolutely fit on here with no overhang at all. 22, 24, 25, 30, they will all they will all fit on here perfectly with zero overhang. The 510 connection on this feels very nice, feels very secure, and it's nice and wide for bigger atomizers. The display on it is fine. It's fairly bright, it's fairly crisp, shows shows you everything you need to know, but it's not really it's not really an impressive display as far as, you know, dual 18650 regulated mods go. I think there are much prettier and much more usable displays out there. I mean, things like the Vaporesso Polar, things like the Inokin Proton, I think are both uh better. I I enjoy them more than I enjoy this display. And that interface is just wonky. It's just real, it's just real weird to navigate, man. Thankfully, I'm the type of person that just sets my voltage and then and then that's what it's set at. I don't have to get into that menu system quite often. I'm not constantly fiddling and adjusting and like, you know, fine tuning my voltage or anything like that. Now, everything else about this mod, it just feels, uh, it feels a little bit cheap. It feels like a little bit of a, of a cheap mod. It feels like it's mostly plastic, although I don't think it is plastic. I know for sure the top and bottom are aluminum, but the body of it could be aluminum, and it's got this sort of like 
silky, not quite rubbery, smooth, soft texture on here, which is actually pretty nice to hold. But overall, it feels it feels cheap. It feels like a cheap mod. I, I don't like the weird interface on it, and I don't like the door. I don't like that the door wiggles around and, and wobbles around so much. Overall, I mean, it'll vape, it'll give you plenty of power, and it runs on dual 18650s, but overall, it's just a really kind of boring mod. It's kind of a really uninspired design, and I'm not just not overall really very impressed with this H Cigar Wild Wolf. So let's get down to brass tacks, as it were. You're gonna need your vape budget hands. If you're looking for the H Cigar Wild Wolf, nah, eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from like 50 to 60 bucks, so fairly reasonably priced. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, and I have no vape gear left to vape, I think we know the answer to this. Is the H Cigar Wild Wolf something I would seek out and buy right away? Probably not. I mean, I would go so far as to say definitely not. I have, I, I could think of probably 10 regulated devices right off the top of my head that have a better interface, a better display, are more ergonomic, and don't feel quite as cheap that I would rather buy before this one. Like I said, I, I do like how this mod feels. I like that it's ergonomic in my hand. I really like the shape, and I really like the position of the fire button. It's a very comfortable mod to hold. And running the risk of repeating myself, I do also like that it can accommodate bigger sized atomizers. And even though there's a few things that I really do like about this mod, those few things aren't enough to really make me want to purchase an otherwise sort of cheap feeling, uninspired, another dual 18650 200 watt mod with as many other much better options that there are out there on the market I, I don't feel like the H cigar wild wolf is is worth the time but it vapes and ultimately the decision is yours to make but that's what I got for today everybody H cigar wild wolf unfortunately youtube really hates uh links to external vape shops in the description so you're gonna have to use your google foo and google around but it should be easy enough to find just just you know find find the cheapest price use your vape budget hands find the cheapest price use your google foo <laughs> but anyway that's what i got for today everybody thank you so much for watching and as always yeah dude let's keep on vaping <laughs>